Now within this pharmacokinetics, let me discuss about what is called as therapeutic drug monitoring. Right, so let me discuss about therapeutic drug monitoring. So, if you take this particular therapeutic drug monitoring, remember therapeutic drug monitoring is a process by which the dose of a drug is adjusted according to its plasma concentration. All right. So, therapeutic drug monitoring we will represent it as TDM. Right. TDM is a process by which right it is a process by which the dose of a drug is adjusted right dose of a drug is adjusted based on or according to its plasma concentration right according to its plasma concentration right this is what is called as the therapeutic drug monitoring now the other point what you should remember here is remember this therapeutic drug monitoring it is done for the drugs having a known correlation between the serum level and the drug response or toxicity right now like we know that if this particular drug reaches certain serum level the drug will produce toxicity for that particular group of drugs we do this therapeutic drug monitoring okay so it is done right it is done for the drugs having right for the drugs having right for the drugs having known correlation between right known correlation between the serum level and right between the serum level and the drug response or drug toxicity what does this mean right i was just trying to tell you if a particular drug reaches certain serum level then that particular drug will cause toxicity in such type of drugs we do therapeutic drug monitoring all right so it is done for the drugs having known correlation between the serum level and drug response or toxicity now let me tell you another important point Remember, this therapeutic drug monitoring, it is done for drugs having wide variation in the pharmacokinetics, right? Wide variation in the pharmacokinetics, both within the individual or in between the individual, okay? So, this therapeutic drug monitoring, it is done, right? It is, so, this particular therapeutic drug monitoring, it is done, right it is done for the drugs having right for the drugs having wide variation in the pharmacokinetics right what does this pharmacokinetics tells you pharmacokinetics it tells you about the absorption right it tells you about the distribution of the drug right it tells you about the metabolism of the drug and it also tells you about the excretion of the drug so those drugs having wide variation in the pharmacokinetics both right both intra as well as inter individual as well as 
the inter individual so in this clinical scenario you need to do the therapeutic drug monitoring that is for drugs having wide variation in the pharmacokinetics all right next now let me tell you another important point now this therapeutic drug monitoring is done for the drugs having very low therapeutic index right so what are those drugs which are having low therapeutic index let me tell you so this therapeutic drug monitoring it is done for the drugs having low therapeutic index right low therapeutic index now what are those drugs having low therapeutic index that includes digitalis which is a cardiac glycoside right it includes digitalis then we have amino glycosides which are the antibiotics right then we have amino glycosides they are mainly given for gram negative infections then we have tricyclic antidepressants mainly like amitriptyline nortriptyline and all then we have theophylin which is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor given in the treatment of bronchial asthma then we have lithium right which is given in case of mania or in case of bipolar disorders we give lithium then this drugs like anti epileptics right anti epileptics they have low therapeutic index and then in case of anti arrhythmic drugs right anti arrhythmics they have low therapeutic index and then in case of immunomodulators right next in case of immunomodulators so these are the drugs they have low therapeutic index remember this point so in those drugs where there is low therapeutic index you have to do the therapeutic drug monitoring next now the other point you remember here the therapeutic drug monitoring is done for the drugs whose effect cannot be easily measured right the therapeutic drug monitoring is done for the drugs whose effect cannot be measured so in such scenario we need to do the therapeutic drug monitoring so remember this therapeutic drug monitoring is done for those drugs whose effect cannot be easily measured right now for example you take the, like the effects of anti hypertensive drugs they can be easily measured by monitoring the blood pressure so for anti hypertensives we don't do the therapeutic drug monitoring now at the same time let me tell you where you don't require to do the therapeutic drug monitoring so remember this therapeutic drug monitoring it is not required for your anti hypertensives right it is not required for your anti hypertensives and this therapeutic drug monitoring remember it is also not indicated in case of anticoagulants i'll tell you why right you take the anticoagulants like warfarin like warfarin and the other clinical scenario is like you need not required to do the therapeutic drug monitoring when the individual is taking anti diabetic medications anti diabetic medications all right so why because when the individual is on the anti hypertensive therapy you can measure the effect of anti hypertensive therapy by monitoring the blood pressure of the individual so you don't require to do therapeutic drug monitoring and you take when the individual is on the anticoagulant like warfarin right you can measure the effect of this warfarin by doing the prothrombin time and as well as the inr so you need not do a therapeutic drug monitoring and you take the anti diabetic medications when the individual is on anti diabetic medication you can measure the sugar levels of the individual in order to know what is the effect efficacy or the effect of the anti diabetics you need not to do you need not require to do the therapeutic drug monitoring therapeutic drug monitoring is done only where the effect of the drug cannot be measured next 
the other point is therapeutic drug monitoring is also not done for the drugs which are activated in the body or those particular drugs which will produce the active metabolites all right so therapeutic drug monitoring is also not done which are activated in the body right drugs which are right which are activated in the body or the drugs which will produce active metabolites right the drugs which will produce active metabolites so this is about what is called as the therapeutic drug monitoring so remember therapeutic drug monitoring it is the process by which the dose of the drug is adjusted according to the plasma concentration of the drug now it is done for the drugs having known correlation between the serum level and drug response or toxicity and it is done for the drugs having wide variation in the pharmacokinetics both intra as well as the inter individual variation in the pharmacokinetics and it is done for the drugs with low therapeutic index like digitalis aminoglycosides tricyclic antidepressants theophylline lithium anti epileptic drugs immunomodulators and anti arrhythmic drugs and therapeutic drug monitoring is done for those drugs whose effect cannot be easily measured and remember therapeutic drug monitoring is not required for anti hypertensives anti diabetics and as well as anticoagulants like warfarin now due to the same reason the therapeutic drug monitoring is not done for the drugs which are activated in the body or produce the active metabolites so this completes the discussion about the pharmacokinetics so in the pharmacokinetics like what we were discussing we were discussing about the absorption of the drug distribution of the drug metabolism of the drug and as well as the excretion of the drug now let me discuss about the pharmacodynamics